Today, we will look at how to use a four function calculator to do some very neat stuff. We will be working with a calculator that you can purchase nearly anywhere. There is usually one that is installed on almost every computer. For today's demonstration, I will use the Blue Windows calculator in standard mode. A standard four function calculator operates on chain mode. That is, each operation acts on the number in the display regardless of the order of operations. Some planning will be required to ensure that we get the correct answer to any mathematical problem. For instance, let's enter 4 plus 2 times 3 and everything in that order and see what happens. 4 plus 2 times 3 equals. Well, we're going to get an answer of 18. This is how chain mode works. Chain mode does not care about the order of operations. Now, the order of operations says multiplication should come first over addition. So the way we should be doing it is 2 times 3 plus 4 equals to get the correct answer of 10. Order of operations. 1, everything in parentheses. 2, exponents and roots. 3, multiplication and division. 4, addition and subtraction. On a four-function calculator, executing calculations properly often rely on the memory keys, mainly memory plus, M plus, memory recall, MR, and memory clear, MC. Sometimes the recall and clear functions are combined into one key, MRC, where you press MRC once to recall the contents of the memory and twice to clear it. For each of the calculations we do today, all the keystrokes shown will be in blue. If you want to write down any specific algorithms, please pause the video at the appropriate time before continuing. Let's start with calculating A times B plus C times D, where A, B, C, and D represent any number. We start by clearing the memory by pressing the memory clear. Then we do the A times B and C times D in parts. First, we'll enter A times B equals memory plus. Then C times D equals memory plus again. We will call memory to get our answer. Please remember to clear memory every time you start a problem. For example, let's calculate 4 times 1.95 plus 3 times 0 0.099. We always start by clearing memory, memory clear, or me pressing the MRC button twice. Then let's deal with the 4 times 1.95 portion first, heat equals, and we're going to add this to memory. Then we'll do the 3 times 0.99 equals, and we'll add this result to memory. Hitting memory recall will get our sum of 10.77. Want to add or subtract fractions? We start by clearing memory, then enter the numerator, press the divides key, enter the denominator, press the equals key. To add this fraction to memory, press M plus. To subtract it from memory, press M minus. Let's calculate 1 7th plus 3 8th minus 4 ninths. As always, we start by clearing memory. Then we'll work on the fractions. 1 7th, 1 divided by the 7 equals, add it to memory. We're going to add 3 8 to it by pressing 3 divided by 8 equals M plus. Now we're going to subtract 4 ninths by pressing 4 divided by 9 equals M minus. Press the memory recall button to get the answer of approximately 0 0.0734127. How about squaring and cubing numbers? To square a number, enter the number, press the times key, then the equals key. To take a number to the third power, enter the number, press the times key, then the equals key twice. On some four function calculators, such as 
Casio for function calculators, the keystroke would be number times times equals equals. Let's calculate 7 squared and 7 cubed. First, 7 squared. I enter 7 times equals to get the answer of 49. Now let's cube 7 or raise 7 to the third power. On this Windows calculator and most four function calculators, my keystrokes would be this 7 times equals equals. I get an answer of 343. To calculate reciprocals, you either have a reciprocal key, like the Windows calculator, labeled 1 over x, or you have some other options. You can enter the number, hit the divides key twice, and then equals, or just use the definition, 1 divides key, your number or anything stored in memory, and hit equals. Applications Area of a circle the formula is radius squared times pi. Since most four function calculators allow eight digits, we will use the approximation of 3.14159274 for pi. So the keystrokes will be radius times equals times 3.14159274 equals. Find an area of a circle with radius 2.4. Our keystrokes would be 2.4 times equals to square 2.4 times pi, which we will enter as 3.1415927 equals, and we will get an approximate area of about 18.096. Finding the distance between two points is pretty easy. The formula, the square root of the quantity of x2 minus x1 squared plus the quantity of y2 minus y1 squared can be accomplished by this algorithm. Memory clear? x2 minus x1 equals times equals memory plus y2 minus y1 equals times equals memory plus memory recall square root. Find the distance between points 5, 6, and 1, 9. 5, 6 will be point 2, and we'll designate point 1, 9 as point 1. So start off by clearing the memory. Then we go 5 minus 1 equals to square the 4 times equals added to memory, memory plus. Then 6 minus 9 equals times equals again, memory plus, then we do memory recall, hit the square root button, and we'll find the distance between 5, 6, and 1, 9 is 5. Believe it or not, we can use a four-function calculator to tackle complex problems. Here, let's solve a system of two linear equations. ax plus by is equal to e, and cx plus dy is equal to f. Our solutions for x and y are x is equal to d times e minus b times f over a times d minus b times c, and y is equal to a times f minus c times e over a times d minus b times c. Solving a system of two linear equations requires three algorithms. Note in the solutions for x and y, they have a times d minus b times c in common, so we'll calculate this first. Then we'll write this result down, because we will need to use the memory register later, and we'll use the result to solve for x and y. Let's demonstrate solving the system 2x plus 3y equals negative 1, x minus 3y equals 2, where a is 2, b is 3, c is 1, d is negative 3, e is negative 1, and f is 2. We'll start by calculating a times d minus b times c first, because we will need to note this result down. So, as always, clear the memory, and then enter 2 times 
negative 3 equals memory plus, and then 3 times 1 equals memory minus, and then hit memory recall to get negative 9. Please note this result down. Now let's go for x. Clear the memory and calculate 3 negative times 1 chain sign equals memory plus, then 3 times 2 equals memory minus, memory recall. Now we're going to divide by that result. So divide by negative 9 equals, and x is going to be 1 third or 0.333. Now let's go for y. Clear the memory one more time. Then we go 2 times 2 equals memory plus, and then 1 times negative 1 equals make it memory minus, hit memory recall, divide by negative 9, which is a times d minus b times c again, and we'll have an answer of negative 5 ninths for y, or 0.556. We can find the roots of a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 by the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Start off with calculating the discriminant, which will be stored in memory. Memory clear, b times equals memory plus, 4 times a times c equals memory minus. If the result is positive, continue. The first root will be found by memory recall, square root minus b divide 2 divide a equals. And the second root will be found by memory recall, square root, chain sign, minus b divide 2 divide a Let's equals. The roots of x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals to 0, where a is 1, b is 5, and c is negative 6. We'll start by clearing memory, and then 5 times equals, and then memory plus to score b squared, then 4 times 1 times negative 6 equals memory minus, memory recall, and our discriminant is 49, which is positive, so we can continue. First root, we will go like this. Memory recall, square root, minus 5, and take advantage of the chain mode, divided by 2, divided by 1, which is 1 for the first root. The second root, we will do memory recall, square root, chain sign, minus 5 again, divided by 2 divided by 1. So our roots are 1 and negative 6. In my blog, Eddie's Math and Calculator blog, I have published a five-part series on how to use a four-function calculator for various tasks, including what you saw in this video. The series was published in October 2012. If you are interested in using a four-function calculator to calculate scientific functions such as sine, cosine, exponential, and natural logarithm, check out the Magic with Calculator section of Ted Muller's website, tedmuller.us. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this video is informative and you can now impress your friends and colleagues. Have a great day.